standing here today with you looking so amazing, so beautiful. I'm again reminded of the magnitude of this day. It feels crazy that we're standing here right now, Keeg. Crazy in a good way, though. Looking back at certain moments in my life, I truly think there was some foreshadowing that I was supposed to end up with you. I think the biggest one being when my brother came home from going through the Tim Hortons drive through and told me very matter-of-factly that Keegan McLeod is such a beauty. I want to acknowledge Morgan's late brother, Brett, who although is not with us in person today, is most certainly with us in spirit and whom I know would be incredibly proud of his sister and his new brother. As a good older brother, he was concerned about her taste in men at the time. And he had a right to be. <laughs> we kept talking and he ended up asking me to keep a promise that night. He said, Corks, promise me you make sure she ends up with a good guy. You know, we saw Keegan all of a sudden take a great interest in his sister and his sister's friends when the friend became Morgan. All of a sudden, Keegan's around and he's, his sister's just cool. And she'd never really been cool in Keegan's eyes, I didn't think, anyway. And then, uh, yeah, they're going along and then pretty soon, you know, the three of them are going places and pretty soon Miranda stops getting invited, so. I honestly don't even know how or when Keegan came around. One day Morgan was single. <laughs> and the next, uh, she was jumping out of a plane with some guy named Keegan from Lacombe. You have such a way of making me feel secure. From scratching my back before bed, to unfailingly hugging me when I get home, and making sure I always have a good night kiss, no matter what. To heating up my heat bag every night, you make me feel incredibly loved every day. The most important thing is what I've observed is you love our daughter and you treat her like a princess, even sometimes when maybe she doesn't deserve it. <laughs> but you're always there for her and that's the only thing that I ask, is that you treat her like that always. Hey. How are you? You look so handsome. You look so beautiful. You like it? Yeah, I like it a lot. <laughs> you did great. Thank you. Looks awesome. I can come home smelling like cows after work, or have swollen red eyes from crying, or have crazy hair and you still tell me I am the most beautiful thing in the entire world. Keegan, I promise to dream with you, cry with you, laugh with you, adventure with you, and most of all, love you for the rest of my days. I aspire to make you feel as loved, supported, valued, and secure as you make me feel. I feel incredibly grateful to get to call you my husband, starting today and for the rest of my life. I love you so much. You, Morgan Ray, have a light, an aura that floats around you day after day. Whether that be laying on the couch, cuddled up with Revy, getting flustered at the list of things that need to be done, or dancing like crazy to Shania. You always bring a smile to my face. You make tough days tolerable, and good ones great. You are the light of my life. Sometimes, I don't tell you enough that you are insanely intelligent. I constantly brag about you to any that will listen, and I'm so proud of your tireless work in school to be where you're at now.
whether in public or in the privacy of our own home, I often will be caught admiring you. I will never not love looking at you, this wondrous person before me. You are insanely beautiful. Your eyes evoke so much love and passion, and your smile warms me from the inside. I promise to always support you and take care of you. I promise to always love you. To never stop holding your hand and hugging you, whether you want them at that time or not. And I promise to ensure that you feel loved. Ladies and gentlemen, upon the authority vested in me by the province of Alberta, it is my absolute pleasure to pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride.